five. Determine the points where the parallel lines you drew intersect AB. So this question five is asking us where this coordinate is and where that coordinate is. And now I did it visually, and I did it visually by saying, if I know that I plotted this accurately and I know I divided the AB segment into thirds, then that meant that I took the X change and I divided it into three sections and I found where it crossed. So I kind of am going to uh, deviate from maybe what this curriculum wants me to show you about setting equations equal to each other, solving those equations, substituting them back in, algebra one content. And I'm gonna say geometrically, check this out, I know where the X coordinate is because the X coordinate is three spaces. This was a distance of nine, right? The X coordinate is three spaces over from five. And then the next X coordinate is three more spaces over from that one or vice versa going the other way. So on this side, I know that I have an X coordinate that starts at five and goes over three. I just don't know the Y coordinate yet. We'll do that one in a second. And then I have another one that starts at 11. That's mainly from observation. There is a much lengthier process that I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying to avoid showing you. And I'll show you that there is a process that still is lengthy, but it could be like four times more complicated. Doable, you can do it, right? If you say, I'm going to fail this, you already proved that you will. Stop it. What are you going to do about it ahead of time? Like right now, have an open mind, have a growth mindset that you can't do this yet, but you're practicing and trying and I'm here to help you do that. And you are your biggest advocate to make sure that you can. From the graph and from our conversations, I know the X coordinate is eight and the Y coordinate is 11. So the goal will be to figure out, I'm sorry, the X coordinate of the first point is eight and the X coordinate of the second point is 11. Sorry, not the Y coordinate. We don't know the Y coordinate yet, but we do have this information. Eight, flipping back, eight is on the Y coordinate or on the line of L3. And I took the information from the last video, I added eight to both sides of the equal sign so that I could get y by itself, which means it's really 10 over nine times x minus five plus eight. I did the same thing with minus four, I added four to both sides of the second line, see, L2, and when I did, I have just y equals, because I added four, that reduced to zero, and over here I have 10 ninths, times quantity x minus five plus four. So that minus four minus eight is moved to the other side with plus. And because those are equations where y equals, watch how easy this is. I'm gonna take that equation, y equals 10 ninths x minus five plus eight, and I'm gonna put eight where x is. So 10 ninths times eight, this eight, that x, that eight minus five plus eight. We gotta do some math. You gotta do what, you know, eight minus five is. That becomes three. You gotta do 10 over nine times three. That's what this is, is a multiply plus eight. Hey Siri, what's 10 divided by nine times three? 10 divided by nine times three is approximately 3.3333. 3.333 plus eight. Hey Siri, what's that answer plus eight? 11.3333. I already answered this. I answered this on the other page. Oh my goodness. I was thinking ahead. I did write that down. Eight comma 11 thirds and then 11 and one third. Sorry, 11 and one third. And then I, I adjusted it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was paying attention. You should have been paying attention too. Okay, let's do the next one. So for the 11 coordinate, the X coordinate that is 11 is on line two. So I'm gonna take the line two equation, 10 ninths times the quantity x minus five plus four, and I'm going to replace x with 11. So y equals 10 ninths times quantity x minus five plus four, and I'm gonna replace the x with 11. So 10 ninths times 11 minus five, plus four. Order of operations mathematics will tell us that 11 minus five makes six. 
and 10 ninths times 6. Hey Siri, what's 10 ninths times 6? 10 over 9 times 6 is approximately 6.6666. We're going to add 4 to that. Hey Siri, add 4 to that answer. Hey Siri, add 4 to that answer. That would be approximately 10.6666. Or 10 and 2 thirds. I have that answer as well. Oh my gosh. The key thing though is that you can take the equation. If you can use your information that you intelligently gathered that the 8 is the x coordinate, then in the equation you can put an 8 there. Do some solving to figure out the y coordinate. You know what? Let's uh, get question 6 in front of your eyeballs so you can see it. You should probably pause the video at this moment and like do a bunch of writing and then I'll talk through it. Okay, so pause here. I'll pause and wait for you to pause it and resume it. Which point divides the directed line segment AB into a 1 to 2 ratio? And which point divides the directed line segment BA into a uh, AB? BA into a 1 to 2 ratio the other direction. The geometric theorem to explain how you know this is the triangle proportionality theorem. We've created parallel lines. And if you create parallel lines, then the segments between those parallel lines can be formed into a proportion. Watch my one minute video on this one to explain it on this poster. Which point is that? Well, in the direction of AB, so from A to B, this coordinate is going to cut that ratio, uh, that segment, into a 1 to 2 ratio. So that's the coordinate 8, 11 thirds. 8, 11 and 1 third. My apologies. I said it again. Uh, in the direction of AB, segments the side into a 1 to two ratio. By process of elimination and the fact that there's only one other choice, but also because if you go the other direction, then the one to two relationship goes this way. This would be the one to this segment being the two. So this is the other coordinate for a one to two ratio. And that coordinate will be 11 comma 10 and two thirds. Segments the side into a one to two ratio. I am very enthusiastically happy that I was able to come up with a solution for question five that didn't go through the full depth and difficulty that the textbook answered. I hope in a stressful setting you're able to also use my thinking for yourself that if you see that this length of line is like a number that can be divided by three in this case or four or whatever we're trying to segment it into, then you get nice on the grid coordinates. If we had to divide it differently and you didn't land on the grid, on a line of the grid, yeah, we have to go through the longer process because you don't know specifically what decimal you should be lining up at. Like how do you know it's 11 and a third and not 11 and a quarter or 11 and a half or even 11 and four sevenths? How do you know? Well, I don't think we'll be that mean to you, but there is a process that is more complicated than this. It's finding the 8 and the 11 that is making this process complicated. Once you find those numbers, you just plug them back in. Easy peasy. So having said that, page 528 is done. Page 527 is done. The last part of this activity is page 529. I'll save that for the next click of your finger on the next episode. So thank you for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. The last question I have to share with you before we get to the final page of this topic is in the next video. Two more videos left for topic one. See you in the next episode.